Hey, what's up guys? How are you doing today? Thank you guys so much for joining me today. So what I'm going to be doing in today's video is I'm going to show you guys how to replace the cabin air filter in your Dodge Avenger. This should be the same for Dodge Avengers from 2007 all the way to 2014. My Dodge Avenger is a 2008 and I'll go ahead and have a link for this cabin air filter down in the description of this video. I bought mine on Amazon. It was $7.57 and it has the activated carbon. So let's go ahead and open this up real quick. As you can see here, they even have some instructions inside the packaging showing you how to do this. And as you can see here, the cabin air filter is located behind your glove box. So first we got to go ahead and take that out. So let's go over to my car over there. All right, guys. So as you can see, I'm in the passenger side of the car and we're going to start by opening the glove box. And then down here, we're going to have to push in up here and the same on the other side to allow the glove box to come out further. And just ignore this cable right here. That's for my dash cam. All right, guys. So as you can see, I got it to come out a bit further. So I'm trying to shine some light on it so it's easier to see. But if you look right here on this side, there's this plastic thing right here. And that's attached to a cable on the other side. So we have to detach this. It looks like on the other side, it looks like we don't have one. So it's just going to be here. Now to fully detach the glove box, there's these clamps in here, right there and right there. And we just need to unclamp those by pulling them out. See, those are the clamps right there. You could just straight pull them out. And now we have more access to the inside right here. All right, guys, so now that we have the glove box out of the way, we're going to have to take this cover off because that's where the cabin air filter is going to go. And that's where the old one's going to be. And to do that, we're going to have to push in these clips on the side right there. And the other one this is going to be really hard to show on camera, but maybe after I get it out, it will make more sense. But there are these two clips on the side of the cover. You just push them in and it comes right out super easy. But to remove this, all I had to do was push in that tab right there and that tab right here, and it came right out. Super easy. Now, one thing to keep in mind when we're putting in the new cabin air filter is look right here, how it has these arrows pointing down. That is going to be the direction of the airflow. So we want to make sure that we match that with the arrows on our new cabin air filter. On the new cabin air filter, it has these arrows pointing down. So when we put this in, we want to make sure that these arrows are pointing down. But first, we got to take out the old cabin air filter. So there it is right there. And let's just go ahead and pull that out comes out nice and easy don't want to shake it too much because it's going to shake a bunch of like dust in your car it feels all dirty oh yeah there we go guys check that out that thing was in desperate need of a change Ooh, just look at that that built up dirt and stuff but yeah let's go ahead and get the new one in there so remember arrows pointing down And now we can put the cover back on. And there we go, guys. That's it. Super easy to do. And of course, we got to put the glove box back in. So the first thing we got to do is get these clamps onto those. And then we got to go in there and grab our little elastic cable, uh, which is right here. And we got to reattach that to the glove box. And of course we got to get that through that hole right here. It is a little difficult to get it through, but I found that if you look at it from this side, while you're putting it through, it makes it a lot easier. So pretty much you put it through right there and then you slide it up there to lock it in. And then to finish completely putting it back together, we got to push in these two sides and then we'll be able to close the glove box. Yeah, 
and that's it. All right, guys, so that's gonna be just about it for this video. And like I always say in a lot of my car videos is that I don't know a lot about working on cars. So if I can do it, that means you could probably do it too. I don't upload car videos often, but when I do, it's usually on my Dodge Avenger. It's a 2008 Dodge Avenger. Or sometimes I also do videos of my sister's uh, sixth generation Toyota Camry. It's a 07. And then I wanna start doing car videos on my, I have a 1977 Toyota Celica that I wanna start making videos about. So if any of that sounds like stuff that might be interesting to you, make sure to subscribe and also hit that bell notifications button. My car videos are few and far between. Most of the time I'm uploading microphone or tech reviews on Mondays. On Wednesdays, I upload reviews on any product or videos on any topic. And then Fridays, I'm uploading new fish, pond, aquarium videos. So I'm all over the place. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, you might want to hit that subscribe button and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.